All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Makakwadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Millstone, and peace and blessing to the elect of Israel. And um, as you see the title of the article, it says F. Biden trends after U.S. president moans about protesters with profane science. And this article came out yesterday, September 12, 2021. Today's day being September 13, 2021. And, um, you know, it's going to second and ninth chapter uh, of the signs of the times. Okay. Being in the last days, uh, uprising of the people is one of those signs, right? To know that uh, the day of the Lord uh, approaches, right? The day of the Lord draw off night. Okay. Really, the end of this society as a whole is uh, at hand. And, um, you know, as, as Isaiah 19 chapter says, the Lord is sent Egyptian against the Egyptian. The modern day Egyptian would be, you know, the so-called Americans, all right? And uh, um, how there's going to be uh, uprisings, okay? As scriptures talk about sedition, all right, against the government. And um, what's happening is nothing short of prophecy, all right? And, you know, you think about, you know, the Titus article, it says, um, protesters with profane signs. What does it make you think about? What makes you think about us, okay? You know, going into the Lord's service of prophets, which we go out there in highways and byways, and, you know, we profess the words of Yah, Bashem, Shai. We give a visual, and we have signs, okay? You know, we have a sign, you know, of uh, the false image of uh, our Lord, okay? You know, going into Shezrei, Borgia, right? You know, because it's all about edification. You know, we have the uh, true depiction of our Lord, okay? Depicted in uh, relation to the first chapter, you know, going into his image, right? Um, we have, um, you know, what the devil did unto us, all right? Uh, put us in slavery. You know, we have uh, about the mark of the beast, all right? Uh, the hour of temptation, you know, the MOTB, um, you know, uh, the destruction of so called America, all right? World War Three, return of our Lord, right? So these, uh, uh, Protesters with profane signs, you know, we'll get lumped into that category, okay? And we'll get blamed for sedition, just like, you know, Yahweh Shai did, you know, and uh, disciples, uh, later turned apostles um, of our Lord, okay? Because this message we have stirs up the people, right? It ultimately stirs up the elect, okay? Uh, uh, going into their pure mind by way of remembrance, which the Lord told us to go out and, uh, Say those who believe by uh, the fools of preaching, okay? But he tells us going to use this uh, uh, to his advantage, as uh, Winston Churchill says, never let a good crisis go to waste, all right? But, um, yeah, it says, um, F. Biden trends after U.S. president moans about protesters with profane signs, okay? Because, again, people are sick and tired of, um, you know, uh, what's going on, okay? You know, with the whole pandemic and lockdowns, and uh, the venom juice, people being pushed to the limits because Esau in his order of KO, he wants uh, to come down hard, uh, um, you know, be justified, you know, in, in um, bringing this new old order, right, which is not going to come to pass. But Esau is going to definitely come down having that great wrath, no knowing he had but a short time. But let me uh, get started, which you know, I'm calling precepts, but uh, let's get into it. This is uh, second edition chapter 15. So verse 14, it says, Woe to the world of them that dwell the rent. So woe to the world. All right, because great misery is coming to this world. Okay. And the stuff that's happening right now, okay, it's just going to get worse. Okay. It's going to get more violent. Okay. You know, it's going to get more um, uh, wild. Okay. Because this is the Lord said he's going to do. He's going to bring, uh, he's going to kindle those fires. Okay. You know, we got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of activity going on in the world. And again, it's going to the signs of the times that the Lord's going to be return. And redeem his elect. Okay, read uh, Max 24 chapter. Yeah, which I went to those signs uh, that would be present, you know, prior to his return. Okay, rumors of wars, wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes, you know, you name it. These things are happening on a high level because the Lord uh, prophesied, okay, that this will happen again prior to his return. So, woe to the world, all right, this world, because um, Yahweh Bashar is not for this world. So, this place has been risen up. For an example of what happens when wickedness takes root and, and, and rules the planet, right? And the person he's using right, to make this example 
is Esau Edom, Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord made all things for himself and the wicked for that day of evil. So the day of evil is coming because why? Because Esau Edom, so white man, he's being used as a stencil, okay, an instrument of the Lord to push forth the Lord's agenda, okay, which is prophecy, okay? So 2 Corinthians 15 verse 14 says, Woe to the world of them that dwell therein. All right, so if you're in this world, uh, you know, in the time to come, come time we're coming into, time to take a trouble, the time of, uh, um, you know, the hour of temptation, which involves uh, the chip, the MOTB, um, you know, you're going to be in big trouble if, you're gonna, if you don't have the spirit of the Lord because the, the, the works of flesh are going to be happening on a high level, okay? That's what it say. Uh, wickedness shall be far. Uh, wickedness shall be increased. All right, to a, a level never seen. Okay, because that last time for wickedness to get um, its last uh, go around, so to say, on a high level. All right. So, uh, second verse fifteen and verse fifteen says, "For the sword and the destruction draw off night." Okay, the sword that's being brought again is though is is Yahbash Nushai. Okay, so right now we're seeing. The left hand side of the Lord, okay? The wicked, which is thy sword, okay? The Lord is using the wicked being Esau, Edom, so the white man as, uh, you know, a sword, okay? And the Lord is ultimately used the right hand going to his son, okay, Yahweh Shai, you know, to, to conquer this world, all right? Revelation 19 chapter uh, tells us about that, okay? Uh, Second Esther 13 chapter, you know, uh, Revelation 12 chapter going to that war in heaven, okay? Because this place is getting ready to be conquered and spoiled. Okay, because again, the bigger picture is the Lord wants this place out of here. All right, so it's not going to be no balancing back. It's not going to be no phoenix rising from the rising from the ashes, uh, new world order, you know, uh, digital, uh, you know, kingdom. Okay, you know uh, that the devil wishes to play uh, here on this earth by putting that chip in everybody. Okay, and uploading you to his new world, all right, where he's going to be God forever. It's not going to happen. Okay, that's a vain dream. Okay, vain. Thing that he's chasing after and the lord's also me uh dangling you know uh, um you know baiting him to to go forward with this okay because he, he thinks no one sees him right he's gonna actually get away with this okay because uh people on in, on this uh low playing field here on this earth they have no clue what's going on right because of great confusion okay so they're fighting each other they're scared they're sad they're happy they don't know how to feel because uh what's coming on the planet earth okay um, Second verse fifteen, verse fifteen says, "For the sword and destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in the hands. So it's going to be a violent, okay, uh, destruction. All right, swords in the hands going into weapons of destruction. Okay, because we're going into this time we're into right now, uh, twenty twenty one technology uh, for swords. Uh, you know is um um uh, so to say now shall be increased. So you know." These weapons that are out today, you know, can do a lot more damage than weapons that were out back in the old times, okay? And that ultimate weapon that's going to be used in this time these thermo is these thermonuclear missiles. All right, people going to be fighting each other with swords, all right? You know, which are guns, um, you know, could be literal swords, you know, any we weapon of destruction because a sword is made to kill, okay? So people are going to fight against each other, all right? And they're going to, going on here in the next verse, verse 16, it says, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. All right, you should not regard, uh, not not regard their kings, nor their princes in the course of action. Stay in that power. So, Titus article says F Biden trends after U.S. president moans about protesters with profane signs. You know, so uh, what um, is happening? You know, like uh, you know, what is it called? Uh, voters remorse. You know, people are are upset with 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 uh, their decision because this country is split in two. All right, the Lord says he's gonna bring that division. And, you know, people are picking their sides, okay? Pro-Biden, pro-Trump, pro-Venom uh, Juice, anti-Venom Juice, okay? Uh, Pro-Venom uh, Juice passports, pro, you know, whatever, anti-whatever, okay? Because the Lord, again, he's setting up the battle, okay? And he's going to, what? Again, quoted Isaiah 19th chapter, all right? Egyptian against Egyptian, civil wars, class wars, race wars, you name it type of wars okay because the lord said he's a man of war all right and what's going to happen is uh the lord again is going to use esau okay to come down with those draconian measures right uh because of the sedition all right you know coming down you know going into uh what is it relation 13 chapter uh two ones like a lamb big as a dragon pushing these policies all right to further oppress the people 
because Ezel has his anus out there, you know, uh, you know, uh, pushing people's buttons. OK, he has the media, you know, he knows how to control you people because you people live in the flesh. OK, he's the ultimate king of the flesh. OK, so he studies every type of ology. You know, he has psychology, sociology, uh, social engineering, you know, all this stuff because he knows how you people operate. That's why uh, he's going to put this hell on you, this pressure on you. OK, the our temptation for you to fold and give into the new world order. All right. So he's going to be hardened. OK, you know, just like the Lord hardened Pharaoh. You read that in what Exodus 7 chapter in 12 book of Exodus about Pharaoh being hardened because uh, we just well, well, we just say that um, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. OK, um, it's all being played together on purpose. OK. Uh, according to privacy. So here, while speaking to the press this weekend, Joe Biden complained about vulgar signs insulting politicians and critics have, have responded by amplifying the trend, right? So speaking up, you know, having uh, your own kind of uh, opinion, right? That's frowned upon, okay? And that's just like in the movie uh, 1984, okay? Those uh, uh, thought crimes, okay? So this devil, you know, was going to what? Make rules against having free, uh, freedom. You know, uh, to to think or ultimately, you know, doing away with your 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 um your liberties. Okay, don't do away with the constitution because it's going to be a new world. Okay, and that new world does not involve you having having freedom. Okay, so uh, so uh, that's why again the Lord uh, is uh, doing this because this is all speeding up His demise. Says Satan, divide against Satan. You know that kingdom should not stand. You know, yeah, you know, you're 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 uh, your slaves, okay, you know, because he has the souls of men, all right, your servant, he says servants, they don't want to uh, work, they don't, you know, there's uh, 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 a need, uh, need help, you know, signs, hiring signs everywhere, all right, because um, all these places is crumbling, right, so here, Second Corinthians 15, verse 16 says, for there should be sedition among men, invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their power, uh, of course of the actions are standing in their power, so they can take matters into their own hands because their voice is not being heard, all right. They don't feel important enough. OK, so they go out to the streets and, and protest. Right. Uh, their cause. All right. And that's not going to be enough. So what are they going to have to do? They have to turn violent. OK. People fighting in the streets again, because uh, this is what the Lord is bringing a sedition. OK. And Esau is laughing behind the scenes, rubbing his hands because you you people are falling right into his agenda. OK. But the, the Lord is, is right over him, you know, <laughs> rubbing his hands because why? Because it's all going to his plan. OK. So to say the deceived and deceiver are his. Okay, but let me grab this real quick. Well, uh, sedition. It says uh, rebellion, uprising, revolt, uh, concerted attempt to overthrow civil authority. People are, are tired of this rulership. Okay, they're sick of it because it says when when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. It says violent strife between factions. Okay, so violent. All right, you know it says um, we just read. Sword and destruction draw off nine when people should stand, fight, stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. Right? That's violent. It says, um, civil or religious disorder, riot, rebelliousness against authority. So there you go. All right. And, you know, we're going to get blamed for this too, of course, because we're we're not for uh, his agenda. Okay. And, you know, going to the Council of Yahweh Bajal Shai, this is, you know, going to, uh, going to the Lord's service of prophets. This is the true message you need to hear. Okay. Because this is what's, this is the council that's going to stand. Okay. Not, you know, uh, feminism, not, uh, you know, whatever people are fighting for, uh, Black Lives Matter. That's not that's not the will of the Lord. OK, the will of the Lord is to destroy this place, redeem his elect, you know, um, and set up his kingdom upon the planet Earth through his son. OK, the father Yahweh is setting up the kingdom of heaven here on the earth through Yahweh Shai, uh, his only begotten son. All right. So that's what's going to stand. OK, all those devices and things people think we should uh, wish the world should be pushed. OK, you know, it's it's not going to happen. It's going to be again, according to the will of y'all bashing shot okay um but yeah let me grab this real quick because uh you know i kind of quoted it matter of fact i'll get it um because we're going to be increased all right going into that uh um furnace is going to get hotter okay because it's going to get a lot hotter here on this earth okay but only the elect can get through this because they're going to be tried uh you know as gold in the fire you know in the fire adversity that they're going to get through this because, again, the uh, quote Exodus 7 chapter, how the Lord hardened Pharaoh, he magnifies his, sign and his signs and wonders uh, in Egypt, okay? So, because it's a balance, all right? And then through the midst of all this stuff that's going on, the Lord's going to uh, deliver 
uh, his elect in the midst of all this. Okay. Oh, it's iniqu iniquity increase. Because Daniel 12 chapter says a time like no other, you know. Um, yeah, here it is. Second Daniel chapter 5, verse 2 it says, But iniquity shall be increased above that which thou, yeah. But, in, but iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest, or that thou hast heard long ago. So things are going to get worse, all right? Um, matter of fact, I'll just start from the top. Second Daniel, second Daniel chapter 5, verse 1 it says, Nevertheless, the, concerning the tokens, I mean the signs, Behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, right? And the way of truth shall be hidden, famine in the word, and the land of, and the land shall be barren of faith, because uh, the only people that can have the faith is the elect, and they're going to get beamed up, okay? So those thermal are going to do a lot of cleaning, okay? Go into that new heavens, new earth. It's going to be by this place being rocked to and fro, okay? Because this place just has to be uh, uh, reset, a, a true righteous global reset, okay? So people on this earth are going to be taking the great numbers. So the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay, a lot of people are going to, uh, are going to perish on the side. Okay, and that ball is already rolling now. All right, but that number is going to increase and increase and increase. All right, um, because of why? Because the Lord says he's going to bring this. All right, because he has a controversy with the inhabitants of the earth. Okay, uh, of, of this world. So here verse 2 says, But iniquity shall be increased far above that which thou, now thou seest, or that uh, thou hast heard long ago. Okay, because why? Because of uh, the lack of bread and great tribulation. All right, the love money is going to wax cold, okay? Because people only care about their own selves, right? And um, I probably got it in Job, you know, because the uh, spiritual demon say, and he knows that, okay? Because again, the works of the flesh are going to be man made manifest, right? So in the land that thou seest, yeah, in the land that thou seest now to have root, shall uh, thou see ways to settling, because so called America, you know, for, you know, we got liberty, liberty, lady, liberty, liberty, you can come here and be free, live the American dream, right? You know, be a celebrity and uh, have a million followers and go and travel and, you know, uh, you know, live this lavish lifestyle. OK, that's promoted here because really the ancient chapter says this place is lived deliciously and it lived deliciously because, you know, of the hardcore bondage and hell put upon our people to this day. So this place seems to be rooted. OK, it's going to continue on for a while. OK, but suddenly shall, you know, be have, have be wasted. OK, you know, it's going to be turned into a third world country overnight. OK. But uh, that's pretty much the point. You know, I don't want to, uh, I might have had something else um, to grab, you know, but hey, man, you know, this, this thing is wrapping up, all right? The elect are uh, are going to be delivered at, at the end of all this, and everybody else that's going to be stuck, you know, dealing with all the stuff here on this earth, they're going to be in great trouble, okay? Can this devil come down, great wrath, right? People are upset about what, you know, here. How he how he uh, did the, the the soldiers over there in Afghanistan, right? You know, so uh, there you go. People are sick and tired, right? And again, it's all uh, you know an agenda, right? But it really is about the agenda of the Lord. So get ready for this, uh, you know, uh, sedition. That's what scripture say: Be wise as serpent, harmless as dove. Harmless as doves. You know, we gotta be able to move all, through all this crap, okay? You know, and uh, you know, ultimately again walking in the spirit. That, that uh you know the lord uh in the time we're coming into you know of course we have mercy on us and deliver us to be part of the elect all right which we pray we are part of all right and we believe through faith so with that those was those was be edifying as those of our praise that bashim shah bashim the bonus of the elders and apostles great millstone peace and blessing the elect of israel shalom